Let's take a look at the Journalism Project class overview and see what we have coming up in the next few weeks. This is your capstone course and the project that you do in this class will be the primary project of your senior portfolio that leads to your graduation and jumping in the river because it's a tradition. Monday and Wednesday and Friday we'll meet online. Tuesday and Thursday we will meet face to face. This is the hybrid section of the course and we're doing it in the summer so we fit one long semester into four and a half weeks and although that seems like a short amount of time um, we've got some significant time set aside each week to work on this project which could actually um, make it a little easier than a long semester because you really got to get on your sources and tell them you've got a sharp quick deadline um, and that can work well. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, video mini lectures in tracks. There are readings, there are reading quizzes, and there are some small assignments that you'll complete um, on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And all of those due times are 11.55, so just before midnight. Some of those things you can work ahead on. And all of the deadlines and dates are in the syllabus on tracks, as well, in, as, well as in each of the tools, you know, the quizzes and the assignment tools. The reading quizzes are posted now, so you can work ahead a little bit if you'd like, and I try to keep the quizzes posted um, at least a week out so that you're always um, able to work ahead if that's something that works better for your schedule. Um, you will find that each lesson is broken out, um, so one through you know 15. It's sort of set up on that long semester model to give you that sense of you know each one of these would be a week in a long semester. So um, we've got the first lesson, which is the class overview, and of course that's where you found this um, video. And then we'll move the next week to data and context, and then to research and planning. For So each lesson is set up like this. And like I said, you'll see some videos, and then um, the quiz links and the assignment links and everything will be in the lesson. Also, the details of every assignment, I have a special section set up for that called Assignment Details and Submission. And this is, um, so each one of these links will give you the details of what you need to complete for that assignment. And the way this class is structured is really each one of these assignments is leading you to the completion of your final project. So each one of these elements is about creating content for that final project or learning some skills that will help you move forward with that final project. Um, and then when there's feedback on your assignments, you'll find them in this assignment feedback link. Um, we also have a Facebook group. This is a private Facebook group just for this class, but since we are a hybrid section and we won't see each other as much, we'll use this for some class discussion, we'll do some introductions, um, and potentially I'll post some items of interest on there that we can all comment on. And you can also um, share content here. And if you've got questions or you want to uh, reach out to classmates, um, this will be another good place to do that. Now, Tuesday, Thursday, we're meeting face-to-face, -face, and obviously these are really important meetings. So this is the time when we'll be brainstorming and working as a collective. We'll be um, problem-solving, talking about um, the best ways to get interviews and what some of the best sources will be. We'll be doing some peer editing, and we'll be updating our projects um, each time we meet. We'll be doing some uh, short class presentations, and the assignments for Tuesday and Thursday are always due before class so that we can have them in hand when we get to class. Class attendance is key because of this face-to-face -face time on Tuesday, Thursday is where we will um, work out a lot of our problems and help sort of motivate each other um, with some creative thinking. I've also got this uh, section set aside called News Biz, and I, I'm later in the in the um, the class we'll have a whole lecture on the news business. But I wanted to point out that there are a number of good newsletters related to journalism that are worth signing up for. So you can just sign up to get um, a daily or weekly email about issues in the industry. So something worth taking a look at. Um, one rule for class is bring your headphones. Bring your headphones that attach to the computers. You know. Um, this sort of an attachment because when we're working with audio or video or if you need to listen to an interview that you did, um, we really need to have that personal space of having our headphones on and sometimes we'll look at some examples and things in class so please bring your headphones. And next up, the next lesson um, will be the capstone project overview where I'll give you more specific details about what the project entails.